you. For what? Not stepping on your feet? No, for not holding it against me when I acted like a complete idiot. I fell for Richie's whole dying man act, and I believe the worst in you at the same time. Well, it's not like I haven't given you any reason to think the worst of me. You know, I may have a way of helping you get back at Richie. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Is it devious and calculating? Of course. It's wicked. Oh, pray tell. <laughs> Not right now. I think I just want to enjoy this dance with you. <laughs> all right, all right, you guys. Listen, um, I don't have time to um, to wrap it or anything, but um, here, I want you to have. Oh this. my God. Greg, how in the world did you get that? I saved it. <laughs> no, you, you, Jesse, and Jenny and I, we had some good times there. So I don't believe this, man. Yeah, Thank you, man. Uh, Jen, this Jenny's... Is... Talk about a blast from the past. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny would have loved seeing you two like this, finding each other again and being so much in love. You know? Happy you here. <laughs> oh, man. So why don't you ask Cassandra to dance? I mean, come on, she won't bite. Well, she did bite the heck out of me when she was two, but, you know, she was... Come on. I don't know. I'm just enjoying watching the show. Oh, come on now. You got a man up. Go on now. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> are notoriously bad dancers, all right? There is your yeah. Great band. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are not getting off that easy now. Jenny's with Winifred, so you are all mine, baby. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Hey, back at you. So, would you like to dance? Sure. Uh-oh. Hello? Colby, why did you leave the house? I told you, you could be in danger. Dad, there's no big, mysterious danger. I'm fine, JR's fine. Where are you? At Angie and Jesse's wedding reception. But where? At the casino, the, the ballroom. Dad, are you, are you okay? Where are you calling from? Seasons East Casino. Fast. <laughs> Where are you taking the eight year round? <laughs> <laughs> You're not scared of small spaces, are you? Well, I don't know. I'm a little claustrophobic, but I guess you'll just have to keep my mind occupied. <laughs> oh, but we got to be sure to get out there again for the big surprise ending at the end of the evening. What is the big surprise ending? Tad has ordered a helicopter to land on the roof and whisper a happy couple away. But, shh, not a word. My lips are sealed. Oh, I hope not too much. Greenlee, I don't know what to say. Greenlee, today isn't really the time to talk about it. There's plenty of other times. But I've been so selfish. And I want to give you something you want so much. And Kendall means so much to both of us. I mean, you don't have a problem with it, do you, don't Zach? Do of course, this. we'd have to go through that whole infertility mess again. The shots, the hormones, the procedures for both of us. You know, come to think of it, it's just DNA when you get right down to it. We don't have to bother with all that mess. Why don't you and Aiden go ahead and make a baby? And I'll pretend I'm its mommy. How does that sound? What are you talking about? Greenie, that's not funny. It wasn't meant to be. You wouldn't have a problem with that, would you, honey? I mean, after all, I'd give you another shot at doing Kendall. You cheating mind, son of a bitch. Hey, you're gone again. I'd like.
like to think that if she was here, that she wouldn't be haunting my father, that she'd at least let dad or me know. There you are, sir. JR, did, did you order these? Tell me that you asked. No. For those. No, I, I didn't order these, I swear. Chocolate chips, no nuts. Just like my mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, excuse me, I, I really just, I can't take it anymore. Can I cut in, please? Please, please. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think you've suffered enough. Yeah, oh, yeah, you've Darling. definitely suffered enough. <laughs> Gotta warn you, though, she likes to lead. Well, somebody has to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah, what happened here? Still my juice. Yeah. Nothing a little magic fizzy water can't cure. Hey, hey you having fun? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Is that about your new job? Mixed feelings. It's a great opportunity, but it's, it's far away. Will you come with us? Sweetheart, I wish I could. <laughs> I'll miss you. I miss you already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, uh, I don't know. For a minute, I thought I'd wake up and find out that this was all a beautiful dream. Oh, rubbish. This is no dream. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. For what? For making Mom so happy. When you love somebody as much as I love your mother, making them happy just becomes a reason for living. You're going to understand that one day. When you meet the right person. <laughs> well, by the by, it's my turn to thank you for keeping an open mind and giving me a shot. Jesse, you make it really hard not to like you. <laughs> no, really. I think things are going to work out just fine for our family. You know, aside from your mother saying I do to me tonight, those are the sweetest words I've heard all day. <laughs> Got uh, yeah, something on your face. Oh. <laughs> did I get it? Yeah. Just, I'm just kidding. No, you did. You didn't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but hey, 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 that, that's my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take it. So, anyway, uh, not only did the groom leave his key, but also the bride's wedding gift in his room. So he's kind of in a panic, and he sent me down here to get both of them. Uh, they're in the bridal suite, which I, I believe is on the top floor, they said. Oh, I'm sorry, here. should show you this. Robert Gardner. Actually, I am staying here, too. Uh, my family is hosting the Hubbard's reception. Sure, Mr. Gardner. Are you a police officer? FBI. Exciting. No. Tonight, I'm just, just another guy in a suit. Hello there. Hi there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are a lifesaver. My pleasure. Uh, May I help you? Yes, you can. Um, say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have any uh, extra rooms available upstairs? 